everyone. Welcome to China Daily Q&A with CEO. Today, we have Mr. Yang Kewei, CEO of Analogics Semiconductor with us. Analogics Semiconductor is a Silicon Valley-based global leading semiconductor designer and manufacturer for the digital multimedia markets. Today, Mr. Yang will share their technology as well as their business strategy in China. Nice to meet you, Mr. Yang. Nice meeting you. Thank you for having me here. And firstly, could you introduce your technologies and uh, the applications in our life? Sure, yeah. Um, so Analogics is a uh, fabulous uh, semiconductor chip company, right? So we develop the technologies and really enables and high speed connectivities for and high resolution displays. Everybody that today and we really rely on our daily activities and on our smartphones, right? So we, um, we check our emails, check our WeChat, and take our, our photos and the videos, right? And we talk to our, our friends. And so everything is based on the smartphone and watching our, our video clips and we stream videos onto our, our smartphones as well, right? So one of the things that limits the use of a smartphone is the actual size of the screen, right? So you basically have to watch mm. your video and you see many um, people in, even in the subways watching on their videos on, on their smartphone. But imagine when they get home and then you go to office and then you want to connect your content to a big screen and then share it on the TVs or monitors and there's no good way to do that. So our technologies really enables that type of uh, uh, applications by connecting your phone mm -hmm. to a TV and you'll be able to, to watch a high resolution movies on the big screen mm -hmm. and coming from your mm -hmm. smartphone. You'll be able to play video games as if that, that you actually have uh, uh, either a kind of a game console like a Sony PlayStation or or Microsoft Xbox, and you'll be able to play the game on your phone, but really um, on the big screen. Mm -hmm. and, and also, just most recently, um, so we, um, our technology and, and the chips are designed into the latest Microsoft uh, smartphone. Mm -hmm. And they have a technology called the Continuum, which is basically taking the smartphone by connecting to a keyboard, a mouse, and a monitor and you turn a smartphone into a PC. So it's really the technology that they extend the use of a smartphone as many other things, such as set-top box and game console or a PC, right? So we are developing the technologies behind that. And, and beyond this, and our technologies is also goes into many of the high resolution displays. Right, so in, in the last few years, in the consumer demand for high resolution displays are continue to in increase, mm -hmm. right? So we, we sort of get used to uh, maybe four or five years ago, and we get used to the TV needs to be uh, high definition. Mm -hmm. Today, if you go to um, maybe even um, uh, Suning or, or Dazhong, or in U.S., you go to Best Buys, and and you're looking for 4K TVs, right? So the resolution continue to go up, mm -hmm. and our our technology and innovations are behind all those high resolution displays. We are the leaders in the market. What do you think of the competition in your market, and how do you win in in the competition? Yeah, so that's a that's a very very good question. Um, so being a civil uh, Silicon Valley company, right? So we can talk about and and you know what is what is our, our company structures later. Um, so we are very accustomed to the competitions. So anything in, in my philosophy is anything you create and there's somebody else in the market is just doing the same thing, right? So it's always a competition, and to 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 really stay ahead is you have to be able to have that capability to foresee what's about to happen in the market. So you cannot be just reacting to the market demand. 
you have to be able to foresee where the uh, the market is going. So that's how we developed our uh, our products. Mm -hmm. So we'll be able to see what's what's down the line, and and also you have to have a very strong technical team. You 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 can't just be a me too product, right? So in in analogics, we really assembled the world class technologist, and then we create the technology, and as well as many of those are patented technologies, are really differentiated us. Um, from our competitors, for example, right, and for the, uh, the semiconductor chips goes into the smartphone, and one of the things the consumer cares about is the power consumption. Mm -hmm. So if you try to watch a movie and after ten minutes your battery is dead mm -hmm. and your semiconductor chip is no good, right? Uh, and in our case, and and our chips are significantly consume significantly less power than our competitors. So therefore, we that enables us to win in in our uh, um, with our customers. Mm -hmm. And um, what's your corporate culture? And as a team leader, how do you encourage innovation? Yeah. So um, the innovation is is really part of our blood, right? And it actually starts from me. Mm -hmm. So when I started the company, and I had this mission of that we want to do something. That we can actually change people's life. We we just don't want we don't want to do something just to for the sake of going out and sell some products and to make some money, right? And so that really goes down through our organization, right? And so we over the last uh, 10, 12 years, and we have created many of the world first technologies. Right. And, and dated all the way back to uh, 2003, 2004, and we create the first 10 gigabit mm -hmm. chips in the uh, regular CMOS uh, technology, which is and really difficult to do. And, and then we were the first one to do that. And, and then we were the first one to do, um, you know, if you're familiar with HDMI, you probably mm -hmm heard about that and if you buy a TV the chances are and there there's a HDMI port on the TV so we were early adopters of the HDMI technology and and in the market has been was pretty crowded right but we we went in there and create a technology called cool HD which is basically a transmitter of HDMI connection consumes literally zero battery power mm -hmm. and that takes a lot of innovation right and we were also the first ones to create the display port standard so analogics was actually the original drafting company writing the display port standard so you you have to be able to see this is this is a market that will be coming in and in five, six years ahead of the time, right? Being able to create a technology that will drive the market direction. And, and another one is the technology called the SlimPort. If you check our, our website, you, you'll see, if you actually go mm -hmm. just a search on, on, on Baidu or on, on Google and SlimPort, and you'll find over a million matches. The word of SlimPort is actually created by Analogics. Mm -hmm. And now it's actually become a worldwide standard, the standard for connecting a smartphone to a TV. So, so that is part of our culture, right? That goes into every organization in our company, it, not only just the R&D, but also our marketing, right? Our sales, our operations. It's inspiring that you've achieved so many number ones in the market and the way to encourage innovation. And another question is, why do you put your headquarters in the Silicon Valley and the Research and Development Center in Beijing? Yeah, so that, that is actually a perfect question. Um, so to answer that question, it actually has to start from my own background, mm. right? Um, so I, I grew up in Beijing. So I can say myself is I'm the real Zhongguanzun resident. 
Yeah, I graduated from the Zhongguan Sun Elementary School, mm -hmm. and I went on to Tsinghua University. Yeah, <laughs> I went on to Tsinghua University, right? And I graduated from there, and um, I think at the age of maybe 24, 25, at, and I went to went to U.S. to pursue my Ph.D. degree, right, in uh, in semiconductor, Johns Hopkins University. So after that, and I. Uh, in 1994, I started to work in, in Silicon Valley, right? And so I, I started working in the bigger companies, and then Silicon Valley is, is, has that culture of, of innovation and creativity, entrepreneurship, right? So I, I was very much um, influenced by that, right? So, so given my background, and I had almost half of my life was in China, and other half was in, in the U.S. So I've really uh, been able to see the uh, um, the strength of the both cultures, right? So, so to me, is particularly for a semiconductor industry, really the the, the best technology and products, and, and the market directions are driven by companies in Silicon Valley, mm -hmm. right? And it's out, out of their 30, 40 years of experience. And so that's why we decide to put our worldwide marketing and head in, in Silicon Valley. Mm -hmm. And coming from China and the Tsinghua University, I know that China has the, the world's best talent for engineering, right? So from the very beginning, when I started Analogics in 2002, end of 2002, and we put our headquarters in the U.S., in the same month, we started the design center in Beijing, right? So my, my vision is that we, I think our, our engineers and, and you know, in China, educated in China, and they, they can match Right, basically the best, the brightest in the world, and I think we have accomplished that. And uh, you've shipped uh, more than one billion devices in 2014. Right. Uh, what's the figure last year and your target in 2016? Yeah, so um, the display port market has been growing exponentially, right? Um, so as a leader in that market, um, over the last four or five years, we, we shipped over a billion display port in the market. Um, last year, I believe, out of silicons and the technologies that we enabled uh, in, in, our, in, in our customers' products, and we counted probably over 300, 300 million, right? And I think we continue to grow our business at the pace of 30, 40 percent and annually and and in the last five six years we we have achieved um, continuous profitability mm -hmm. and what's your business strategy in China this year and within three years yeah so um, I you know I, I maybe I want to answer your question slightly differently um, because in my view the, the semiconductor industry is the global industry. So it, it's not so much of a strategy for one, for China. It's really the strategy for the industry mm -hmm. altogether. So an, our analogics uh, vision is to build an industry leading semiconductor companies, right? So we want to be the world number one. We don't just want to be China's number one. And in the market segment that we're in, we have already accomplished that. And going forward, we'll continue to, uh, to drive that strategy, right? Grow our business in uh, North America, grow our business in Asia. So most of our customers are today in Korea, China, uh, Taiwan, and Japan. And we'll continue to grow that. And China is such a big, big market. I mean, we have probably half of the worldwide smartphones are sold mm -hmm. uh, in China, right? So we, we, we have a huge market 
uh, potential in front of us. Yeah, we'll definitely take advantage of that. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's uh, really my pleasure to share some of my experience here.